Well, I got that piece in. Now I can finally get started on the headliner. So that'll be next. Real soon. Like today. Okay, so this may be a little hard to see, but the wind lace comes down all the, all the way down to the floorboard here. And what it does, it tucks into this little piece of trim that runs down. It's got a little channel in it all the way down. It also holds the tow board in, slips behind this slip, this lip here. So these are a little rusty, but not, not too bad. And originally the welting had a cord sewed into it that held in here when they pinched it. Well, I don't have that. So what I did on the other side, it worked, turned out good, is I opened this up, cleaned it all out, gave it a, painted it, let it overnight. Then I put a, some uh, little spooge of clear adhesive inside it all the way along, fed the, cut the wind lash down to fit on the back tail, the nailing part, pushed it in there and then crimped it all the way down. So that's what I'm gonna do to this side too. It worked out pretty good on the other side. I got some of this clear adhesive. It's uh, liquid nails. I didn't want to try to deal with contact adhesive because it's in a groove and I don't think that would work out very well. Here's a fascinating time lapse here. Okay, got that all full of glue. I marked it up here where to start. And I'm using a pair of uh, end cutters. Works pretty good to go around here and crimp it again. There we go. There we go. Once you get it going, it works pretty good. Oh, that way, okay. <clears throat> I 
I'd say this is awkward, but that'd be an understatement. This one. That one hooked up there. There's a the center there. This is the one that just kind of pierces through it. Clips. I'm getting there. Huh, what a hassle. Getting here, I had all the clips. I dropped most of them. They all kind of went everywhere. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I'll show you. It's got these little clips here that slip over the rod. They slip over the rod and drop on a screw and you tighten them up. The other end's just got a, like a little hook on it that hooks hook into the headliner here. Now because this one going to the center here doesn't have any little catches, it hooks under the uh, body of the car. It's got a little prong sticking out that the rod actually catches on. You poke holes through the lasting and holds it. So you got to hook that one up first. And pull to the back, tighten that up, and then you gotta pull to the front. But I wanted to get up hanging in here, kinda. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna work out. <laughs> Famous last words. So I should be able to pop these off. Then finish stabbing this one on here. See this bow is either hooks here, little catches, little barbs sticking out. So the rod goes over the top of. <clears throat> There's that tape. Like <clears throat> I'm a little off center. My butt. Oh, oh, it slides easy. Oh, that's perfect. Nailed it. <clears throat> there it goes.
There we go. Okay. Now I can put these back in. <clears throat> All right. So I got that one hooked back there. Now what? We got this front one hooked, the center one rather. So, I guess do I just pull it down and go for it? Okay, so I got the back started there. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. There's front, there's center. So I should be able to pull this. This goes all the way down to the windshield. Same thing, got a really narrow tack strip here. Ah, first shot, look at that. Don't hang up on me now. Come on now. Oh, come on. It's working. There it goes. That feels about right. 
Got a staple show in there. Ripping pliers. Cool. I get my pliers. Got to pull that one staple. I got to cut these listings a little bit more because they're got to give a little bit more room for it to slide down. Definitely an awkward job. <clears throat> but one I've really been looking forward to getting done. Makes a big difference in the appearance of the vehicle. Now, I should probably secure the back because I have an anchor point here and back there. Get that pulled and then work on this one. I'm thinking. Now I've got that other side pulled up tight. And I just worked on this side. As you can see, it's come out pretty good. Just keep working on the way down. I don't get my big head in the way. Of course, I'm out of staples. Now once I had this up and tacked in place, because I've been having a hard time at holding just a couple of staples, I had it, got it tacked in place so I knew where I was, it, it went. I took some spray adhesive, mask off the window, I sprayed the tack strip with spray adhesive, sprayed the back of the headliner with spray adhesive, waited for it, then it set up. Then I could pull it and it would stay. Then I went around, made sure it's tight, because then you can pull it loose and adjust it, especially in the back. And that seems like it'd be a pain in the butt, but it actually works out pretty well. That's that's really the way to do it. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks like something. Now there's a crazy little piece that goes along in here. 
This is actually for the other side. But so it's two pieces of cardboard. And you run, and you run the, the headliner material, glue it on both of them. This is actually stitched. And you take one half, this actually goes on the other side, this is backwards. One half, you open it up like a like a like a fan, it's upside down, but upside down and backwards. But the one half, the small half on, and you put it on with brads. Get it in place. Then you coat the inside of it with adhesive. Regular contact, it's cement. And then you fold the other half over it. And it hides it. So you get that kind of look. If you can see that. I mean, there's not a very big line that goes through here. It's pretty small. And the windshield trim comes around and covers it. So it covers your staples. I'm still leaving stuff long because I'm not sure where it goes. I should I did this with a sharp utility knife and it worked fine. So we got a fresh utility knife blade in here. Then just keep slowly working your way around. There's another piece of wind lace that goes across here that covers all these staples. And it's a special kind. The type was up here originally had metal in it that you could bend down, staple off, and then bend it up and it would stay, kind of like a, kind of like a hinge. I don't have that obviously, but I'll figure out something else. I've got that side pulled up pretty tight. Now she's going to walk along this side. This is my problem area back here. I don't really know what to do with it. I think it's probably going to stay. Hopefully I can steam it, get a lot out of it. We'll find out. But I can't get it any tighter. This part is really tight. It might just be the way it is. All right, I finally got it done. I've got a couple little minor uh, things to do. Got to put the dome light in, little stuff like that. But I'll spare you that. Let's check it out. That back piece there looks like a different color, but it's not. It's just the lighting. Got a couple little wrinkles here and there. Nothing terrible. When I get the steamer. I'll uh, come back and steam them. Hopefully they'll take care of them. But I think all in all it came out pretty darn well. I'm happy with it. I'm satisfied. I think it came out pretty well. Considering it's the first one I ever did. So I thank everybody for watching. I know this has been a long drawn out thing. But it's one of those things. You got to get past it. I got to get it done. And it's done. At least 90%. 95%. So, I appreciate everybody watching. If you would, hit me a like. If you really like it, subscribe. I appreciate it. Take care. See you soon. Snow's almost gone. I'll be able to get on that old GMC and pull the body off it and start doing that swap. Good deal. Thank you. Take care.